Uh, hi everyone. So our project is called Mini World. So basically, uh, we want to build this video game where you can um, build your world with Kinect uh, by just like grabbing things and build them by dropping them. Um, so the idea is like uh, you can uh, go into this 3D environment to design your own home and your own room. And uh, so my name is Jane. Um, so I'm from COS3 and I'm a graduate student. And <laughs> I am Catalia. I am COS6 undergrad student class of 2019. So we address this problem of when we try to create our own world as Jing has already introduced. So we then come up with our game called Meeting World and we will show you the, our demo now. Um, yeah, I guess you want to turn that way. <laughs> Yeah, so Catalia will be controlling the game and I will be doing it here. And... Uh, should we go then? Keep clipping, fine. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> I'm not sure if that's capturing you. The Is that connected? Okay, yeah, now it's work. So I hope it's not capturing me. <laughs> you may want to restart it. Yeah, yeah, we'll restart. <laughs> There's going to be technical difficulties on the fly presentation. <laughs> okay. So now we are trying to locate ourselves in our home. <laughs> Could it be it's capturing other people? Hello? Hello? I mean, you can check for this. Yeah, maybe. I think so. It's very tracked. Yeah, I think it's not tra tracking her. <laughs> so. <laughs> Do you have the SDK installed? Yes. You should pull that up. Huh? I don't know how you get to it. Oh wait, this isn't the Mac. This looks like. No, this one looks. Can we move it to here instead? So yeah. Work sure. Oh, I think there's true work because we did the test. And then you may there. close the door behind you. Okay, it's easy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's a good place. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so somehow we just got indoor because we saw that house and we just went through that door to go into your room and then you're getting out of your room to your yard. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. And... So how are you switching rooms? We change the scene. We can disable it right now uh, to avoid the problem. Why can we see it? Uh, okay. So what we just did is like we deleted that door so you cannot go indoor and now you can travel more freely in your yard <laughs> not to just hit that door. <laughs> um, we will show you the pen, how to like 
we can choose the material and then choose the object to paint into oh. So the only problem here is it's a little bit hard to control things, <laughs> but we will get there. <laughs> show you uh -huh. so now we will um, get rid of all of the stuff we have already built and we will try to build from the scratch for you and so delete it which one yeah. oh. and then <laughs> maximize on play <laughs> yeah okay so we just deleted that yard and <laughs> you want to locate yourself again. <laughs> no? Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah here. Good. <laughs> we have to grab some object here. And then, and then you can create that object. <laughs> and then you can create it by raising your hand. What? <laughs> Also, now I will try to do the rotation for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 got it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> So for the Kinect, uh, our TA have already um, made the script that allow us to keep track of the co coordinate in 3D of our hands and the other joints like heads. And what I do is that we I implement, for example, the zoom in and zoom out. I implement that if your hand, if your right hand um, is built. Um, behind the, your sh right shoulder for certain amount you will got zoom out and if it like there's I think it's the C direction C index if it 
more than your shoulder, it will go to zoom in like that. So they built a lot of their own rules based on X and Y and Z coordinates. Okay. Yeah. So like any gesture that she was doing, she actually programmed just based on like logical rules about where two points in space are. Right. So you train it beforehand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm curious whether if you had another connect, it'd be more responsive. If you had one in the front or the back, well. that really makes any sense or only one makes sense. Uh, you guys yeah, I think like techie, but yeah. it's going to be hard to implement, but like, yes, theoretically it can be better. People do do it, yeah. It'd be a lot of math to get the two to match up. <laughs> also, their infrared camera would probably start interfering with each other. Okay. <laughs> Question? Have you had Unity experience before this class? I have a little bit. But yes, but learn from this car a lot. <laughs> yes. And what about connects? No, never happened. Yes. Any other questions? All right. Awesome. Thank you.